Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura. And have you ever been shopping and you've thought, hmm, I wish I brought a bigger tote bag? Well, if that's the case, I have the perfect project for you. This is a tote bag that's going to grow as you need it to grow. And it's very easy to make. There's very little sewing. I will have the directions in the description, but let me go through what you are going to need. This fabric has been designed by Deborah Gable, and this is the Home Sweet Home, the row by row collection for this year from Timeless Treasures. It's very cute. There's all of these houses and fun things, even fabric that you can color, and they also have the license plates. Now you can use as many different colors as you want, or as little as you want. You will also need webbing for your handles. Now this is one inch and it is actually made of cotton. So it's very, very comfortable to hold, but it's also very, very strong. And you are going to need two of these cotton handles at 45 inches. The next thing you're going to need is a paper back fusible web. Now this is a very light one. And what it is, is it is a glue and it will actually glue layers of fabric together. The entire tote bag is going to be made flat. The very last seam is when it will take its shape. So you're going to sew everything onto this support. It's from Fairfield. And what it is, is it is foam that you sew. You use it in place of a quilt batting and it will actually hold its shape so the bag will stay upright. And the size you're going to need for this is 17 inches by 37 inches. And the needle I would recommend would be a universal 9014. The first thing we're going to do on the foam is we are going to draw lines and on those lines we're going to stitch right through them. And this is going to give the bag a shape without having to sew the shape into the fabric. The first line is two inches from the edge. The second line is four and a half inches from the edge. And you're going to need to do that stitching on both of the sides. And what the stitching line has done is it's going to give it fold lines. So we have both rows of stitching on each end. The next thing we're going to do is put fabric on each end. Now these pieces are going to be 17 by 17 inches. And this is where that fusible web comes into place. So you need to take your fabric, press it nice, and then iron on that paper-backed fusible web. And you can do it larger to start off with and then trim it down. The final results is this fabric and the webbing together should be a 17 inch square. Once you have it fused on, you're able to peel off that last piece of paper and that webbing is now on that piece of fabric. And just peel the paper right off. Take both of the 17 inch squares and iron them right onto this foam and you will have a space in the middle. So both of these are going to be tops. So if you have directional fabric, you want them both going up in this direction. And you're going to go right over top of that stitching. The next thing we're going to do is put the strapping on. So we need two pieces of the strapping because one is going to go on one side, one is going to go on the other. You need to draw lines five and a half inches over and draw a line. You need to do a second line five and a half inches over from that edge. So you're going to have two long lines down the center. We are going to take one end of the strap and place it so that the line is on one edge and the handle is going to be flat all the way around so that you're not going to twist it. And the other end of the handle is going to go again on the end of that. Measure from the bottom up nine inches and put a pin so you know this is your marking because you do not want to stitch up here. This has to remain free. So we have five and a half inches over and nine inches up. Stitch from the bottom up to your nine inch mark. Go across and back stitch a little bit so that this will be secured and go back down and do the same to this side. So none of this is stitched. And when that side's done, you need to do the same for this side. Five and a half inches over and nine inches up. Both the straps have been sewn on. Now we're going to put the bottom on. The bottom 
is four and a half inches by 17 inches. And I have fused that paperback webbing on the back of it. Now I'm going to be able to iron it right in here. Centering it up and making sure all of the raw edges are covered, you're going to be able to iron this right down. The next piece is making pockets for each side. You have a front and a back of the pocket. The front of the pocket is going to be eight and a half inches by 17 inches. The back of the pocket is going to be nine inches by 17 inches. Match up the raw seams along one long edge and stitch a quarter inch. And you're going to notice that the back is a little bit longer and that is correct. And to press the seam, you're going to press the top going over top of the lining. Fold the pocket in half, matching up the two raw edges. And when you press it, you will notice that you have a little bit of the lining showing on the top of the bag. And that has created a faux piping. Stitch in the ditch all the way along that edge. And you need to do this to both pockets. So now you have two pockets with piping along the top. Working with one pocket at a time, you're going to sew the pocket on. And the pocket that's going to go on this side is going to actually be stitched along that line at the bottom. Follow that line and place the raw edges of the pocket right along that line, matching up the edges. So the front of the pocket is covering the opposite side of the bag. And stitch right along going through all of the layers. And when that quarter inch has been sewn, you will be able to take the bag and press it right up to the top. You are going to be covering the handle, but what it has done, it has closed up that bottom seam. Press it and stitch right through the center of that handle, back stitching at the top and do it on both sides. You now have a center pocket. Repeat for the other side. Now you have your pockets done and the front of the bag is complete. In order to hold the sides down and make it a lot easier to sew, take a zigzag stitch and stitch all the way around the bag. That will hold those panels down and it's going to compress the foam and the fabric. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to sew the lining onto the bag now while it's still flat. And this is 17 inches by 20 inches. Pin your straps out of the way and matching the right edges, you're going to sew a quarter inch along the top on both sides, only on these two sides. Take the lining and press it up on both sides so you're not rolling the foam at all. It's going to stay flat. Fold it right in half and match up your seams. And where you have those stitching lines, just fold the bag into itself. And now that you have this little piece tucked inside, you're going to start stitching on the lining and stitch all the way down right off of the bottom. If you just go slow, you're going to be able to go right over top of that and back stitch so you secure it. Stitch this side and stitch this side closed. So you have both ends tucked in and you have the opening here. And there's one thing to do before we turn the bag right side out. We're going to put a piece of the fusible web over top of this line of stitching that we've done on both sides. Match up the seam, press it down, and then peel the paper off. Take the lining and pull it over top of the bag. What will happen is when you've pulled that lining down, you're going to have again a little piece of the lining peeking out through the front. Make sure that the lining is nice and flat along the edge of the bag and press it. And by fusing this down, the lining is never going to come up out of the bag. Do one row of stitching all the way along that edge. And before you turn it right side out, just do a little rolled hem all the way along the bottom. That bottom that you folded in is going to give you this nice triangular shape. Take the bag, fold it right along that seam line and press it on both sides. And where you did the stitching on the foam in the very first of the bag, you're going to be able to roll it once and you're going to be able to roll it a second time. Give a little press on the cuff. So the bag is ready for your shopping trip. Regardless if you're going to do a small amount of shopping, a medium amount of shopping, 
or a large amount of shopping, your bag is ready. And when you come home, it's easy just to roll it back down and it's ready for the next day. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.